Hello, everybody. Welcome to our virtual winter art exhibit featuring work by both myself, Mrs. Jackson, and Mrs. Broder's fall fine art courses. This is part two of our presentation featuring work from painting one, photo, ceramics, fine arts, advanced fine arts, and portfolio, and also some choral recordings. The first grouping is from students um, in painting one. This is Ella's work. The piece on the left was an independent piece using acrylic paint, and the piece on the right was an underpainting of fruit that was then glazed on top with color. This is Parneet's work. She's an honor student, so the piece on the left was part of an independent series she created. We also explored working with watercolor, painting seascapes like the piece on the left, Some more seascapes and underpaintings of fruit. This is Zachary's work and the piece on the left was a radial painting where artists chose a color scheme and showed both highlights and shadows within that range of value using watercolor pencils. Another radial piece and underpainting on the right. So for these fruit still lives, we used underpainting, a technique that helps artists render form three-dimensionally by first beginning with a full range of value using just browns and blacks. And then, because acrylic paint is inherently transparent, it can be glazed on top of the value, revealing the shadows and highlights underneath, but then adding the local color of the fruit. So great examples of uh, fruit that is rendered three-dimensionally using a full range of value. piece on the left is an example of Lindsay's honors work and then some more underpaintings. Really proud of how these students have created some beautiful work despite the circumstances of this semester. Fine Arts is an upper level art course where oftentimes students have taken foundations already and oftentimes drawing and painting as well. Students created these fruit still lives using colored pencils, showing small reflections and shadows within the fruit. Also gestural landscapes using charcoal pencil. some shoe studies using graphite pencil as well. Conveying form in a three-dimensional manner using value. Students focused on composition where things are placed to create successful artworks as well, to move our eye around the page.
self-portraits were also explored using each individual style. fitting quote by Frida Kahlo, who focuses on self-portraits through her work. Advanced fine arts and portfolio are upper level full year art courses where students have taken fine arts already a full year. Two great works by Amy Grace. And students created family self-portraits by arranging symbolic objects to represent their family. And then rendering these using the media of their choice. So the first was graphite pencil. Ellie's is in acrylic paint. Piece on the right is a imaginative friend in a sense. So an imaginative creative portrait. And then again on the right, a family self-portrait. Rena's on the left was done using colored pencil. And then a family self-portrait on the right. Great quote by Dolly about creativity. Photo is a semester course, and this semester was done digitally using what we find in our everyday lives to inspire us. The indigo piece on the right is a cyanotype done using digital technology. Students focused on, focused on the elements and principles of design, such as contrast. the piece on the left using dark and light butted against each other to create um, jarring and interesting effects. Students also explored advertisements like the Air Force piece at the bottom and elements they found in nature to inspire them.
Ceramics One is a three-dimensional art course where students work specifically with clay. These pieces are slab mugs where a slab of clay is rolled out and then curved into this mug-like shape. Afterwards, additive and subtractive relief is used to create interesting effects, both taking away from the clay surface to add detail, as well as adding on three-dimensional elements. Glazing is also used to create finished work and also interesting visual effects. Pottery can both be functional, like the mugs, but also narrative, like these creative tiles. Maybe I'll live a life of regret Maybe I'll give much more than I'll ever get Congratulations, Ellie Early. She has been awarded Best in Show for this beautiful acrylic family portrait. Thank you all for checking out our upper, upper level fall fine arts courses and the beautiful work students have made this semester despite these challenging circumstances. I hope you enjoyed Rebecca and Joe's beautiful choral, choral recordings as well. Thank you so much for supporting the arts and please check out part one to see foundations and painting and drawing student work if you have not already. Thank you.